you feel as though you've been hit by a sucker punch? Well, I feel disappointed. No question about that. It was a careless, scrappy performance by us. To give that game away is ridiculous. Having dominated the first half like that, were you fairly confident or were you already ruining perhaps missed chances? No, I was confident that um, the momentum of passing was good. We controlled the match, as, as you've mentioned. They changed the system in the second half, and at that point, we, we, started, we stopped choosing the width. It was, uh, it was tailor made for width today. We stopped using it as we did the first half, and I think we contributed to our own downfall, to be honest with you. Individual errors once again? Yes, absolutely. I agree with you. That's why today, we part of the season, we corrected that, and we're on a fantastic run. But it's, uh, you have to hold your hand up. That was bad mistakes today. When Steve McLaren made those changes at half time, how much did that influence the play, do you think? Well, I, I think that um, it gave them the extra man midfield and they get more aggressive about their game, in fairness. You know? And I think that it's credited to them in that respect. But we faced that situation many times. We've got experience to handle these things. I just felt we stopped using the width in the game. Did you see shades of Tuesday against Liverpool in the game? All the possession, but just not converting it? Well, I didn't expect that, because they really didn't always have to could win the match, to be honest with you. I just kept thinking about what I could do without a replay here, you know? This is my mind, and we put Yorkie on, just try to get the goal with the matters, put Rude and Ryan on there, where I thought that would have made a difference. But, you know, the cup does that to you. You think you're, you're in a decent position. I didn't see how we could lose the game, and yet we've lost. If you, people look at your team selection today, but of the players, perhaps the first-team regulars that didn't play, how many were actually fit? Who did you actually rest, if anybody? Well, was no doubt. Well, Rudvin, that's why he was rested, obviously, and I think that was, he was due that. There was tiredness. We looked tired in, in, in the Tuesday night match against Liverpool. I think you know, he admitted that himself. Ryan's been in his bed since Tuesday, so he was an option only as a sub. And, of course, David Beckham and Verona both injured. Hindsight, of course, is a wonderful gift. Do you yeah. wish you'd started with Van Nistelrooy now? No, no, no. I think you have to be, you have to be fair to the lad. He's done fantastic. We've still got a long season. We should win that game. We know that. And I think everyone else knows that. Even with us, we've been careless and we've paid for it. Are you concerned that you haven't scored in the last couple of games? Well, it's always a concern, particularly with Tuesday night's match. We've played so well. The build-up play was marvellous. But I think that... The combination of Ryan having the flu and, and Rude not being just at his best maybe help, didn't help us in that respect. Uh, and and Solskjaer was really wasn't 100% fit to play in the match. But we thought as a sub, maybe he'll get a chance in the match that we can decide it. And we left the substitute as late as we possibly could in the match. But we have had chances there today. You know, a little bit careless in the finish. You know, Scores had a couple of used to hit target. I think you know. I think players should always try and hit the target. Um, we got a chance near the when when uh, Ruud come on. I thought maybe if we'd hit it right away, we'd have a chance. But if we'd let it go, scores he was running in. So we 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 had good chances in the match. Not clear cut chances. With two shots knocked off the line from corner kicks, our two headers knocked off the line. So in that respect, we didn't carry a bit of luck in that that aspect of the game. But um, at the end of the day, as I say, the cup can do that to you. And we've, we've experienced it many times in our favour in the past. So you just have to accept and go on with it. As things stand, this is your last game in the FA Cup. How do you feel to go out like this? Well, I'm disappointed. Thanks for your time.